The economy can be compared to a game of musical chairs, where money represents the chairs. During a recession, the music stops, and some people and companies are left without a chair. The situation continues until the music starts up again. Recessions are marked by a decrease in the velocity of money, meaning that money changes hands less frequently. As a result, people hold on to available cash which means businesses receive less money and can no longer invest in growth or support their workforce. Job loss occurs, and the economy spirals downwards. However, during recessions, some individuals thrive, and this is when the sharks come out to feed themselves. To navigate economic downturns successfully, millionaires and billionaires abide by specific rules. Here are 15 recession money rules. Sit on cash. It is crucial to hold on to your available cash, as cash reigns supreme in times of financial instability. When cash becomes scarce, it can be costly to lack liquidity, potentially compromising your financial security. During economic downturns, cash becomes more than just currency. It becomes a shield to safeguard investments and ensure peace of mind. Although keeping cash in the bank may seem unappealing, it is better than losing value to inflation and risking financial instability. Wealthy individuals can afford to lose a few percentage points annually, knowing they will be able to purchase goods when the market drops. On the other hand, poor individuals can sit on their cash. If you are in the middle, it may be wise to delay significant spending decisions and strategize like a chess player while others play checkers. Get rid of high interest debt. In times of uncertainty, borrowing at high interest rates is akin to swimming with weights on your ankles. It will eventually pull you under. Therefore, it is advisable to avoid high interest debt and only keep low interest debt. During a recession, the value of capital goes up, making it expensive to borrow, so it is better to ride it out with the income you have. Recessions offer a unique opportunity to renegotiate contracts and debts with people willing to offer favorable terms. If you're looking to make money, consider becoming the predator, not the prey. Structuring deals as debt over equity during a recession is advantageous as it provides simpler exits for investors and comes with tax advantages. If you're an investor, consider convertible debt deals that allow you to either get paid back or convert it into equity when the economy returns to normal. Acquire assets at a discount rate. In economic downturns, the strong often acquire weaker entities at low prices, further consolidating their dominance. Recessions weed out less resilient businesses, leading to their downfall or sale to more robust companies, thereby enhancing market concentration among a few powerful players. The trend is evident in the surge of mergers and acquisitions among giants and the disproportionate failure rates of smaller firms. Post-COVID, over 200,000 small businesses closed, amplifying the market presence and revenues of behemoths like Amazon, which saw a 38% revenue spike in the pandemic's first year. This scenario exacerbates the financing gap favoring larger corporations and shifts employment towards them as they better navigate such markets. Yet this landscape also presents opportunities for the not yet dominant to excel by leveraging their creativity and resources against the vulnerabilities of larger rivals. Despite the growing wealth of the affluent, those who are flexible and innovative can achieve success and growth in challenging economic climates. Use logic over emotions. Choosing logic over emotions is essential for survival, especially during recessions. This is what separates true professionals from mere pretenders. Making the right decision, even if it seems counterintuitive, is crucial. While instincts can be helpful, relying solely on them is unwise. The scoreboard never lies, and necessary adjustments must be made to ensure the ship stays afloat. Clear-headed decision-making, based on data and long-term goals, is the key to success. When the sun rises again, the present becomes just a chapter in the story of the overall journey. Protect your investments. Adopt strategies of the wealthy to protect and grow your investments, especially in light of recent market volatility. 
which has led to significant losses since 2021. JP Morgan's prediction that nearly all Americans will be financially worse off. Post-pandemic underscores the urgency. The key is diversification into recession-resistant assets, such as fine art, a tactic used by the affluent to shield their wealth. While this may seem inaccessible, platforms like Masterworks are democratizing art investment, offering a viable hedge against stock market fluctuations with proven returns. Despite the barriers ordinary investors face, including regulatory hurdles and lack of insider access, it's still possible to safeguard and potentially grow your wealth by diversifying your investment portfolio. Learning from the rich, consider expanding your investment strategy to include alternative assets. Be decisive. Making decisive moves is key to success, whether it's one or two strategic actions that lead to great results. One skill that many successful individuals possess is patience in their approach, waiting for the right opportunity to present itself before taking action. This was evident in the actions of Warren Buffett, who sat on the sidelines for eight years, much to the ridicule of financial media, until he saw the right moment to make his move. Unlike young hedge funds lacking patience, Berkshire Hathaway waited and capitalized on opportunities when they presented themselves. It's important to pay attention to markets that you understand and not to try to be fancy with your investments. Spreading yourself too thin across multiple investments, particularly those that you don't fully understand, can lead to negative results. Farmers, for example, may benefit from sitting on cash during a recession and purchasing land or cattle when prices are low. Making one strategic play during a recession can lead to outperformance compared to others. So wait for the right moment and make sure you have a deep understanding of your investments before making any moves. It's better to have a strong grasp on a few areas than to be spread too thin over multiple investments. By following this advice, you'll increase your chances of success and avoid common pitfalls in investing. Be strategic and ready to buy in bulk. Be strategic and informed when making bulk purchases to seize success opportunities. Focus on promising areas without hesitation, as these moments are fleeting. Bulk buying often secures better deals, especially during tough times when sellers are motivated to offer favorable terms due to their financial constraints. This approach of targeting undervalued assets at discounted prices is universally beneficial enhancing cost effectiveness across various life aspects. However, vigilance is essential to avoid exploitation by those targeting the less informed. Thorough research and due diligence are crucial before any commitment. Embrace an opportunistic yet cautious mindset, staying ahead of potential exploiters. Dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging entails regular purchases of assets without concern for market fluctuations proving more successful than timing attempts made by professionals. One common misconception among middle-class investors is the belief that investing is a one-time event. However, investing is a continual process that accelerates during economic downturns, a time when wealthy individuals invest heavily, thus lowering their average cost per investment and increasing potential profit. Failure to take advantage of such opportunities could result in missed profits or even losses. For instance, failing to invest in Bitcoin when it dropped from 50,000 to 17,000 could result in waiting longer to make a profit while those who remained invested already enjoyed significant returns. This same concept applies to other long-term value assets such as the S&P 500. Rather than attempting to time the market, adopting a dollar cost, Averaging strategy is a wise choice. Embrace the market dip. If your investment's core rationale remains solid, embrace market dips as opportunities to buy at a discount, especially with a long-term perspective. Avoid the temptation to go all in on short-term fluctuations. Stability and self-discipline are key. Panic selling is a common pitfall. Stay informed but avoid impulsive decisions based on transient news. Remember, the media often plays into the hands of those looking to sway market movements to their advantage. View each market dip as a unique chance to increase your portfolio's value over time. 
with the understanding that the return timeline can vary greatly. Patience and a clear understanding of your investment horizon are crucial. Controlling impulses is essential for long-term success. Attempting to time the market for short-term gains is risky and often counterproductive. Instead, treat your investment like a savings account. Consistently contribute without withdrawing unless absolutely necessary or you've achieved your financial goal. This approach minimizes risk and promotes a healthy, growth-oriented investment strategy. Wealth is built in recessions. Fortunes and wealth are often forged during recessions, a critical insight gained over the past two decades. It's not about winning daily, but seizing pivotal moments. We're sharing a rarely seen perspective. Observing the U.S. economy's rebound post-recession reveals a pattern of significant growth. Approximately every 10 years, like clockwork. Recessions are followed by an average of 69 months of expansion, with returns ranging from 25% to 50%. Recessions, when viewed in the broader context, are relatively brief, lasting about 10 months, leading to years of sustained growth. Understanding this cycle can fundamentally change your approach to wealth building. By investing consistently in the S&P 500 during these downturns, you position yourself for upward mobility and wealth leveraging the same knowledge that the affluent have been taught by their predecessors. Don't buy unnecessary things. In times of economic downturn, cash becomes exceptionally precious, and it's crucial to handle it with care, to avoid squandering it on non-essential purchases. Luxuries like new cars, high-end clothing, or lavish vacations should be put on hold. It's more prudent to conserve your resources and invest in income-generating assets. Once the recession has passed, the returns from these investments can finance the luxuries you deferred, positioning you better financially for the future. Embrace frugality. In the aftermath of the 2008 recession, successful companies were those offering cost-effective solutions. Airbnb undercut hotels, Uber was cheaper than cabs, and Netflix overtook cable. This highlights the value of frugality during economic downturns. Businesses should embrace thriftiness, utilizing existing resources to their fullest rather than spending on new items. This includes maintaining current office supplies, technology, and vehicles. Spend only on investments that promise long-term value, prioritizing sustainability over immediate needs or upgrades. Adopting this approach can ensure resilience and potential growth during challenging economic periods. Rebalance your portfolio. Rebalancing your portfolio involves periodically adjusting the allocation of your investments to stay aligned with your personal expertise and risk tolerance. Essentially, it's about keeping your investment strategy in check. If part of your portfolio, say tech stocks, is outperforming while another, like travel stocks, is underperforming due to specific events such as COVID, you might consider shifting some profits from tech to balance your portfolio. This practice is guided by what's known as the expertise ratio, which dictates that your investments should mirror your areas of knowledge and experience. For instance, if 70% of your expertise is in real estate and 30% in stocks, your investment distribution should reflect this ratio. By reviewing your portfolio annually, you can identify any deviations from your desired allocation and make necessary adjustments, ensuring your investments remain well-suited to your expertise and investment strategy. Unrealized losses are not losses. Facing a recession for the first time can be daunting, but it's crucial to stay composed. The mantra to remember is that an unrealized loss isn't truly a loss until you decide to sell your position at a lower value than you purchased it. Similarly, unrealized gains are not profits until you actually sell the asset at a higher price. The fluctuating values you see in your investment app don't directly translate to cash in your pocket, whether those are gains or losses. Celebrating a 20% return by spending money before actually securing that profit by selling is premature. Consider the broader perspective, a logarithmic chart of the American economy, as represented by the S&P 500 over the last 60 years shows consistent growth over time. This historical trend suggests that patience pays off. If you can hold on to your investments through the downturns, you're likely to see recovery and profit in the long run. 
This concept is encapsulated in the adage that time in the market beats timing the market, emphasizing the value of long-term investment over trying to predict market highs and lows. Stabilize your income. Stabilizing your income is critical to weather economic uncertainties. The essence lies in effectively monetizing your skills and ensuring continuous cash flow, whether you're working, running a business, or investing. Diligently monitoring cash flow can uncover ways to enhance your financial well being. Relying solely on savings during a recession isn't sustainable. Aim for a steady income that ensures financial stability allowing you to make informed decisions and stay ahead. Building a strong network is invaluable, particularly in tough times, as it can open doors and provide crucial support. Amidst global economic unease and signs pointing to a recession, there is a disparity between public sentiment and official economic figures, especially in election years. This scenario suggests a need for caution and strategic planning. We encourage sharing your views on the economic climate and your strategies for navigating potential challenges ahead. Until next time, take care.